Some people love to poop. It's one of their favorite activities. Me? Mm, not so much. But there's one type of poop I hate more than all of them. Filament poop. The thing is, when I look at a piece of filament poop, I know it's not much. But I look at this and I see that is wasted filament, hence wasted money. And that is no good. So there are a lot of different ways to eliminate the filament waste as you 3D print. One of the best is if you're, especially if you're doing multicolor prints, just print everything separately in their own color and then glue them together. You have no filament waste. Other options allow you to put some of the waste material into the infill of the object. That helps reduce the filament poop and waste. There's a lot of other methods, but today specifically, I want to talk about the flushing volume in Bamboo Studio. So the flushing volume adjusts, it's a multiplier, that adjusts the amount of filament that goes between color number one that you started with to color number two, or maybe even material number two. And this is important because there's a trade-off. If you have a really high flushing multiplier, so this flushing multiplier goes from zero to three. So if you have something really high, it is going to create a lot of filament poop, but your transitions are gonna be great. You're not gonna get any bleed over. However, if you have it too small, yeah, you're gonna save some filament, but then you're gonna have some bleed over. So today I wanna test what value will give us the best transition, but also save us the most filament in the process. Let's get the printing. So I've come up with a simple test where we have four different colored discs and I am going to adjust the flushing volume between the prints. So I'm going to do 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1, 2, and 3. And then by the end, we're going to look at the results, see what filament poop is presented, and then also what's the quality of the prints. Is there bleeding through one of the discs to the other? So let's print these and then look at the results. So we've now printed all of our discs with the different flushing volumes. Here on the left, we have the 0.25. Then we have the 0.5, 1, which is the default. Then we have 2, and then finally the 3.0 multiplier. So let's take a look at the 0.25 multiplier. Now, clearly we don't have much poop, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to dump it in here, and we've got 0.07 ounces. That's pretty good. That's not a whole lot. One thing to also know is when you look at these poops, there's no transition from one color to the other. It's just like it pooped white, it pooped blue, which will come into factor here pretty shortly. But now let's take a look at the actual discs. Now this we clearly see as a problem. Now there's black into the blue. I'm gonna grab the white one here and there's black into the white. Then I believe we've got some blue onto the purple. That one's not like too bad. But then we have our purple into our white as well or vice versa. So clearly there is some big time bleed in our discs. This just simply isn't going to cut it unless you're doing a prototype and you really... But why even do multicolor at that point? So that's not good. So now we're moving to the 0.5. I'm dropping in and we still got 0.07. So not much poop. Now, one thing to note here is if we take a look at one of these poops, we see a transition from it starts to white and it goes to black. There's a little middle ground there that's gray. That's what we want to see. It's flushing color number one before it hits color number two. And then we can see these transitions on all the different poops, but it doesn't have a ton of them. But really, how do our discs look? So number one, Blue looks pretty good, not too shabby. Black, you see a little bit of blue on the very where it meets the textured plate, the build plate, but ultimately it looks good. White, I see no contamination at all. And the purple looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with the 0.5, I'm not gonna lie. Now we're gonna take the 1.0, the default. So let me grab all the poops. I'm gonna drop them here into my bucket and it looks like 0.21. So that is three times the amount that 0.5 had, which again, absolute value, maybe not be a ton, but that three times. 
So let's take a look at the poops. I mean, there's nothing too horribly special here. We're going to see with the 1.0 multiplier, you're really going to see the transition from one color to the other. We see it black to white. We see it from white to blue. That's how all of them are going to look. And no surprise, our prints look good. Now, there was a little, I'm not sure, defect. I don't know if that's bleeding or I think it was just a filament. I don't know, some issue there, I don't know. I don't think that's from bleeding. The other discs look fantastic. There's no bleeding at all, not even on the black where before we had a little ring, that's gone. So here, looks fantastic. Discs are good, no problem. So now let's take a look at 2.0, the flushing volume. So I'm going to drop all the poops in there. Of course, uh, crap, I dropped on in the floor. I'm going to try to go back and and figure it out right now we're at 0.39 add this guy in 0.41 so a decent amount more poop that's 0.41 ounces again we take a look at these and it's the same thing you see the transitions among the poop it's more poop but the poop looks the same and all the discs it's going to save you the time they look the same they look good no contamination no bleed through now we're looking at the 3.0 flushing volume drop these bad boys in now we've got 0.46 so makes sense that should be the most volume and the most ounces and all of our discs look fantastic so that gives us the highlight that looking at all the flushing volumes looking at all of the discs, the 0.25 clearly doesn't have it. The 0.5 actually looks good and is significantly less waste. The 1 looks good. The 2 and the 3 also look good, but produce more waste. So that at least gives us an insight into when nothing changes. No prime tower, no other changes. It looks like 0.5 might be our winner. So from our results, we've seen that the 1.0 flushing volume multiplier works perfectly fine. There's no bleed through. You get like some filament poop, not an exorbitant amount. Now above that, you start getting a lot more filament poop. So the only time I could think of using more than 1.0 multiplier is, I don't know, maybe I'm making an action figure or I'm making something to sell or it's a gift and I really want it high quality and I really don't want any bleed through, then I would consider it. Obviously, I have a pretty simple test here as well. Pretty rudimentary. It may depend on what you're printing in terms of the best flushing volume too, but I'm not using it for a hobbyist. I'm not using anything greater than one. And in fact, if you are like me, and you hate poop, and you don't want poop, then I'm permanently going to 0.5. I saw no bleed. It gave three times less filament poop. And yes, I know in absolute value, the difference between 0.07 ounce and 0.21 ounce isn't like a ton. But you never know. Over the course of a year, that could be a whole roll of filament that you could either save the money on or... Hey, use the money and buy like a film that you normally wouldn't buy, like a glow in the dark or something kind of cool and experimental. So I'm sticking with the 0.25 flushing volume. Remember, I also didn't use a prime tower for this test as well. There's a lot of variables to test out. Maybe I'll continue testing and do another video on a more rigorous test with a single volume that has all of those different, uh, you know, colors in there. But for now, I'm sticking with 0.5. So I hope this helped you. Subscribe for more. If you got any questions, put in the comments. Thank you for watching. Happy printing.